In today's Texas Tech men's basketball update, we'll discuss the latest assistant coaching hire for Grant McCaslin in the Red Raiders as, well, they make a smart one and go north of the border and get one of the all-time winningest North American coaches in Dave Smart. We'll discuss his resume, what people are saying about the hire, and then we'll also discuss a potential recruiting staff hire that may take place for Texas Tech men's basketball in the coming days. But if you like the Dave Smart hire, all I'm asking you to do is simply like the video. We'll go over his entire resume and actually talk about a game where the Red Raiders faced off against Dave Smart in a Canadian tour back in 2015. But before we do that, be sure to like the video and let's jump into this. As you look at Dave Smart, and we've talked about him in previous videos, but he is one of the all-time winningest North American coaches in college basketball on the men's side history, period, simple and plain. He's a 57-year-old guy from Canada. He is 591 and 48 all-time in U sports in terms of his record at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada, a 13-time champion in the U sports men's basketball league. Listen, this has been talked about for a while, right? I've even had a couple of videos here on the channel about how people have told me, hey, this was going to happen. Apparently, there was maybe a visa issue or something. I don't want to get into too many details because, honestly, I don't know exactly what was the delay in terms of this happening. But this was something that was in the works for quite a while. We're talking, you know, four or five, maybe even six weeks time in terms of making this happen. And this looks like it will be the last coaching staff hire for the Red Raiders. So you think about the guys that you bring in and you've got Luke Barnwell, you've got Matt, you've got Chokey, now you've got Dave Smart alongside of obviously the head man himself and Grant McCaslin. Not too bad of a staff if you ask me. I like the youth aspect in terms of some of the younger guys on the staff, but then I also like bringing in that vet even if it at, is at the Canadian level in Dave Smart, he's one of the most highly respected coaches, not only in Canada, but really just in college basketball in general. You look at some of the names that have advocated for him in terms of testimonials on his website for the coaching stuff that you can go in and watch and implement some things in terms of your own programs. He's got testimonials from Mick Cronin, Jay Wright, and multiple NBA coaches as well. And we'll discuss a little bit what some of the relevant people in terms of the college landscape up in Canada when it comes to men's basketball are saying about this hire for Texas Tech. But for me personally, when you look at what he is going to bring, he brings a mindset of winning and how to implement a winning culture, right? He does that on the defensive end. He is a guy that runs a four-sweet defensive concept but is also known as weak hand defense. It's strictly not weak hand, okay? It's knowing what the weakness of your opponent is. It's going in and having a game plan and forcing them into a spot that they are uncomfortable or shoot a low percentage at, right? That is the whole construct of his defense. And if you want to go see it a little bit more, I'll leave a video down in the description where you can go check out and see some of the teams that he's beaten, um, including Syracuse and J Jim Beheim up on Canadian tours that these schools take, he's beaten some pretty big D1 programs when it's come down to it during his time at Carleton University up there in Ottawa. Again, a 922 winning percentage. I don't care if you're playing fourth graders. That's impressive as hell. Like, legitimately, that is impressive. Um, but before we talk a bit more about Dave Smart, I want you to grade this higher by Grant McCaslin. A, B, C, D, or F, let me know down in the comment. Just one simple letter. That's all I'm asking you to do. Just simply grade the Dave Smart hire with an A, B, C, D, or F grade. I mentioned a little earlier, it is funny. Texas Tech actually played Dave Smart back in 2015 on a Canadian tour. The Red Raiders won 67-60, led by Keenan Evans, 16 points. Um it's funny, Lawrence Odiase, after this hire was announced yesterday, um, came out on Twitter and said, not going to lie, them Red Raiders got the dub back in the day, LOL. But boy, I vividly remember being like, hey, nah, these Canadians are different. And he's not the only one that thought that. Again, Dave Smart is a guy that has beaten the likes of Jim Beheim in Canadian tours and countless other D1 programs. He's a guy that went out and said, we want Kentucky. 
right? And he's up in Ottawa, Canada at a U sports school, and he's beating these guys left and right. Virtually every summer, he's beating a high major D1 school um, when it comes to the American side of things. And listen, 922 winning percentage, as I just mentioned, that is absolutely insane. Um, I helped break the news yesterday in terms of this happening. It was happening for a while, though. We knew this for a good five, six weeks. It was just when was this going to happen? Um, and a lot of people reached out to me, though, from the Canadian basketball scene. And a couple of things that really stood out to me was how great of a hire they said this was. They were shocked that it took this long for him to actually get a job in the States. He figured it would happen a while ago. One guy told me, like, hey, he went off to, you know, help consulting on the defensive side of things in terms of the ice with the Ottawa Senators. But he truly thought Dave Smart should have had a role a long time ago. He wasn't the only one that mentioned that, one of the guys that I talked to. Um, a couple other people said, yeah, we're kind of shocked that this took so long, but this is a great fit for him in terms of what he can go and show at a high level, right? He was looking for that proper place to land and he wanted to do it at a high level. What better level than the Big 12 when it comes to men's college basketball? Um you know, just overall, the thing that stood out the most from this outside of, again, people with high praise of him saying, and I quote, he implements a culture that creates a winning environment, right? He cares about how the program is run. And at the end of the day, the success of not only these men on the floor, but off of it, right? So again, overall, a ton of feedback and positive feedback at that across the basketball landscape on this hire for the Red Raiders. And it's one that you know, we talked about for a little while. I personally like it. Again, a 922 winning percentage, 900 or 591 wins, um, 57 years old, runs a defense that is well regarded by every D1 head coach that knows who he is, including Jay Wright, Mick Cronin, the list goes on and on. So again, you get a guy that has experience winning at a high level, right? To come down in year one of Grant McCaslin, help implement a culture, in a defensive culture and is a proven winner, that's something that can't go understated in my opinion. But again, one last thing before we head out of here, and I know this is probably what y'all waited for in terms of what I mentioned at the top of the show outside of the hire, of course. Um, Texas Tech men's basketball is likely to make one more quote-unquote big splash hire. No, it will not be on the coaching staff. In, that, in fact, I think the coaching staff is complete. I think these are the guys you're going to get. you got five of them now, including Grant McCaslin. Again, you've got the likes of guys that you get, obviously, Luke Barnwell from up in Kansas. You get Matt Bauer. you got Chokey. And now you've got Dave Smart alongside Grant McCaslin. I think that's probably your coaching staff, okay? But this big splash hire that they are likely to make will be on the recruiting staff side of things. And he is one of the most highly regarded and well-respected guys in the recruiting space, not only in the state of Texas, but in the country for what he has done for grassroots basketball. So um, I'd expect an announcement on this front, maybe in the coming days. It may happen that fast, but probably here in the coming weeks, um, definitely before September. Um, but yes, it will be a big splash higher once in terms this goes through and everything like that. So again, not a bad staff for Texas Tech. If this is where it ends and you get this recruiting staff higher, honestly, the past couple of months in terms of, hey, the first few weeks, high, high time. You know, you're going through some really rough waves, but at the very end, Texas Tech has done a phenomenal job of really getting a good staff, Luke Barnwell and Dave Smart were the last hires on the of the staff, right? And then a good job in formatting that roster in terms of getting Devin Cambridge and Joe Toussaint. So really good job by Grant McCaslin and crew in terms of solidifying what they needed to, going out and getting guys they identified that could help them not only on the floor, but on the coaching staff as well. And Luke Barnwell and Dave Smart. And now we're just waiting for basketball season. Summer two, the practices are going and everything like that. Um, not too far away from Texas Tech men's basketball. I'm going to ask you one more time, though. If you like the hire of Dave Smart, like the video. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. I'm R.C. Maxfield reminding you, if you want the latest breaking Texas Tech men's basketball news all year long, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long on your one-stop shop for everything. Texas Tech Athletics, of course, I'm talking about the Back to 12 podcast channel.